Hi, I'm Diana Dauhu. And I'm Rob Roll of Black Seed Bagel. And we're going to teach you how to make bagels at home. Black Seed Bagels are basically a hybrid of Montreal and a New York bagel. So we're just going to start with the rolling process. So these balls are about four ounce balls that we let rest overnight to add more flavor, to add a little bit more texture. It's important to start in the center because you're pushing the air to the edges. Once you start in the center, you want to get about the width and depth that you want your bagel to be. We prefer ours a little bit smaller with a bigger hole. So once I push the air to the outside, I'm going to pop the ends. This is about a foot long, bring it around, and you're gonna kind of lightly, but certainly kind of roll the bagels like that. You wanna apply enough pressure where the ends come together, so then you'll get this size. It, it does take a lot of practice to get the proper, perfect bagel. So practice makes perfect, keep going with it. steam kettle. You want to definitely give them a little loosen from the board. You're going to let them sit in there for about five to six minutes. Depending on what kind of texture you want, the longer you leave it in the water, the more chewy it will get. The less time you leave them in the water, the more softer and bread-like it will be rather than a bagel texture. And you leave them in there for about two minutes on one side and then you want to flip after uh, two minutes is over. So Diana put these in about five minutes ago. They've been flipped on both sides, so they're about ready to pull. And they should be firm on both sides. There should be no sogginess. They'll go right into a strainer. We're gonna dip salt, dried onion and dried garlic, sesame and poppy seeds. After we seed all the bagels, they're gonna go directly into the oven. You don't want them to hang out on the boards for too long or else they'll start to wilt and be not very nice looking. The wood fire oven is a bit more of a laborious process than a regular oven. It requires a lot of attention. At home, you kinda just have to use what you have. So we've just flipped them onto the hearth. We'll leave them there for about two to three minutes before we flip them again. And we'll continue to do that until they're completely baked, roughly 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, making bagel at home is a little bit more challenging, but it's definitely worth a try and it can be done, so why don't you try it? Bagels are pretty versatile. You pretty much put whatever you crave on top. We like to, to mix it up from sweet to savory here, not necessarily with the bagels, but with the spreads. And you know, you can make it either lunch or breakfast. Or dinner or for a snack. I've definitely eaten them all day long. <laughs>